Hey guys, welcome to our video. I apologize in advance if I look or sound kind of blah. I have been sick for a little bit, so, um, I can't guarantee my voice is going to sound great, but, uh, I want to record. And, uh, today's video, I found this. So, we're going through my childhood, aka preteen and younger Barbies, the few I have, and... I found the two brat dolls I have. Uh, these two are not um, childhood ones, though I do remember having one, I believe, of Sasha, either Sasha or Yasmin in some kind of jungle gear, but I got rid of that one long ago. But I found Yasmin, I believe this one is. I am fairly certain this is Yasmin. I found her. At a yard sale a few years ago, and she needs a little fixing up, and I want to restyle her. But, um, I was happy to find her. She's one of the original ones. I don't know what, I don't know what line she's from, though. I have no idea. So, uh, if you know, I'll show you guys, like, a close-up of some of these at the end if you know you you can put down below if not then we're on the same page the next one is this lovely lady who i have no idea who she is at all all i know is she's absolutely beautiful and i don't think she's in her outfit at all maybe the dress but um she's absolutely stunning and She's definitely going to get, like, a little makeover. I kind of want to find her a different jacket and maybe some different boots. The kind of dress top is really cute, so that might stay. But, yeah, I I love that one. I'm not going to collect a lot of brats because, um... Okay, editing Keisha here. So, I feel like the original clip that was here didn't really do a good job explaining why these are... A passive collection versus an active one for me so a lot of it is while i do like brats i like them a lot if i didn't i wouldn't have these two lovely ladies in front of me um i'm just not drawn to them the same way i am a lot of my other doll brands that i'm collecting right now and i'd rather my money go towards those or towards something else like games at the moment does that mean i won't add more brats to my collection no it just means that brats are more like, if I find one secondhand, that it's a good price. That is absolutely stunning that I absolutely fall in love with. I'll probably, more than likely, pick them up. If I find a reproduction that absolutely captures my heart, I will, more than likely, pick it up if I have the money to do so. They just won't be ones that I actively seek out for the time being. And that's fine. That doesn't mean I enjoy them any less. That just means these two lovely ladies are the sole attention getters of the Bratz gang in my collection. At least for the time being. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, look at the lovely ladies. I mean, they need a little cleaning up because they are secondhand dolls, but look. Look. Actually, she, she is a little bit wonk-eyed. My, my wonk-eyed queen. My poor baby. I still love her, though. She's so pretty. You're so pretty. But yeah, um, I hope that explained things a bit better. But yeah, uh, on to the video. So now we're on to, like, Barbies. Uh, this one was in the video just before this one, but this lovely lady, she's one of the few that I'm fairly certain is from, like, really young childhood. She's one of the few that made it through, like, the yard sale purges and donating stuff, and she's also been through a flood in the basement. These poor dolls were stored downstairs, and a lot of the few that I had left got a bit ruined. So, these ones are some of the few that made it. 
And this one I'm pretty sure is one from early childhood too. And she is one of my favorite ones. I absolutely love her face. I love her hair. She's in one of the favorite dresses I own. And she has these randomly his random sparkle shoes. I kind of want to get a different pair of silver ones, but these were just the ones I have. I want to add, like, some jewelry and stuff. But, um, that will be a little while for some of this. That'll be a project for over the year or two. Um, this one, excuse, excuse the doll nudity. Um, this one, I am fairly certain, is a childhood, childhood one, too. She's one of the ones I know for sure I had because she doesn't have the writing on the butt, which indicates she was one from my aunt. So this one, this one was not one from my aunt. And she met the unfortunate fate of a haircut. But actually, it's not that bad. I think I need to boil wash her hair and it'll lay down straight. But I did pretty decent. But poor baby got her hair cut, but I absolutely love her face and her purple lipstick. She's one of the first ones I want to find an outfit for. She's, um, her little thing on the back says she's from 1999. Okay, editing Keisha hair cutting in. Uh, first off, the hair, you and I can both laugh at it because this, this is ridiculous. I don't know what it's doing. But, um, two, I am pretty sure past me is 100% wrong about what she thought the dates on the back of the Barbies are. I'm still not 100% sure, but I suspect they are the dates when that body mold, or whatever it's called, was made. So, um, you can kindly, kindly correct me below if I am wrong on that front. But, uh, I, I think I may be right. You have to remember, I am not a Barbie collector. I've mostly focused on Monster High. And these are my childhood playthings. So, my Barbie knowledge is pretty limited. So is my Bratz knowledge. But, um, yeah, I'm willing to learn more. I think it's fascinating. So, kindly, tell me below. And now back to the video for copyright 1999 so i don't know if that means anything to anyone else but okay this one is one i got from my aunt she was avid um barbie collector and she tried to give her dolls to me when i was preteen and um the thing is i was in the phase where i wasn't into dolls um, obviously, that changed, but I wasn't really into dolls. I was kind of moving on my way out of, oh, I don't really want dolls. I don't really have the room for dolls, but, um, she was one of the few that I kept. My aunt apparently named her Amber. She's one of those with the little thing on the back where she can lift up her arms. Poor baby, um, has some staining on her neck. Excuse the doll boobs. So I want to find her a pretty dress or something with a higher neckline to hide some of that. She still has her earrings. And her back says 1966. She also has like a really beautiful face and this really pretty kind of like white blonde hair that's like really swishy and in surprisingly really good condition she made it out of the flood just fine i don't know where the sun damage came in um well i think it's sun damage it might not be sometimes dolls just yellow a bit over time and let's open this We have, this one's another one that was my own personal childhood one. Um, she also met an unfortunate hair fate. I don't know if you could tell. No, I did not cut it, but uh, I did try to dye it. 
she has pink now but otherwise I got most of it out um, and it's really soft and in really good condition still very swishy and mostly mostly a kind of almost white blonde color she's one of the ones that I picked because I really loved her face I apparently really love this face sculpt um, she says 1966 on the back and I think she was some sort of ballerina I am unsure at this point because her clothing pieces are lost to the void by now um, next we have this pretty lady um, her hair elastic finally gave up on her but I want to put her in a gold outfit at some point to match her earrings and find something to put her hair up. She has tinsel. Um, this one I think was given to me by my aunt. Um, she doesn't have a name like the other ones, but I'm fairly certain she was given to me by my aunt. Uh, and she's from, has a 1966 on her too. Um, I don't know what line she's from. This one gives me the very distinct feeling that she was from a specific line versus just a random Barbie like some of the others. Um, then I, okay, this one I, I know is more of a, vintage one uh I kept her because I thought her face was really cool though it's discolored because of age she has the Midge Barbie mark on her butt um poor girl also went through the flood so there's some black marks that I need to see if I can remove, but otherwise she's moved out pretty well. Um, she has rooted eyelashes and these really blue eyes. It's just a shame her uh, face is so orange compared to the rest of her body. Um, any Barbie collectors, what midge is this? Or is this like the Barbie from that line? I'm curious. I also have like an Elvis one, I think, or something like that over in the garage. Still in box. Like it's been unboxed, but my aunt kept the box. But I'm not an Elvis person. But I was like, this just seems like something I should keep in case I find someone who wants it. Um. Oh, this one I know is one I got from my aunt, but I absolutely loved her. I love her face, and I love her little hair. Um, apparently, she has two names. My aunt picked out Viola and Lisa, but um, she's also one I really want to find a cute outfit for because I absolutely loved her. She's one of the few that I absolutely adored. But I have to wash her up because she's got like black marks from being in storage and stuff like that. But she'll be one of the slightly later ones to be made. Um, well, I mean to be given a makeover. I was trying to say to be made up. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day and I haven't been feeling good. Um, this is another one I got from my aunt. I really loved her face and hair. Um, I can't... She doesn't have a name on her butt. So I don't know what my aunt called her. But uh, she is a really cute Barbie. She has one of the faces that I apparently really like in that Barbie. 
Um, and the last of the Barbie girls is this cutie. I suspect she may have been one of the birthday Barbies. Or from that era, like the 1990s birthday Barbies. I could be wrong, but I just saw a video with some of them, and the face and the hair gives that distinct vibe. Um, I'm fairly certain I got her from my aunt, though she doesn't have a nickname on her butt or back. But she she's absolutely cute. She's definitely gonna get a cute little outfit at some point. Um, we also have three Kens. Well, I don't know if that's their actual names, but you know, Ken dolls. We have this one who's been nicknamed Jeremy. I can't remember why I kept him. I think I just thought he was kind of neat looking. Added a bit of variety. Um, this one's like a surfer boy. Apparently my aunt named him Chris. I think he has a really cool face sculpt. I think he was a surfer boy because of his little beads. He had like shorts on when I took him out of the box, but I had to get rid of them because they were kind of ruined, so... They will get new clothes at some point. And then we have my favorite Ken doll I have. We have this handsome fella. Just look how, how could you not? Look at that smile. He's such a handsome dude. I don't know if this is the outfit he came in with or not, but he, he's one of the few that made it. He's one of the few that made it. And the last one is, honestly, I need to get rid of this specific one and try to find her. But um, if you guys, rem if any of you recognize the doll brand, tell me. Because um, I absolutely love this lovely lady. But um, her hand broke. They have little pegs and they're supposed to come out. But they're not very strong, so her hand broke. And I was sad. She, I don't know if these pants were hers or Barbie ones or not. But if you recognize this pretty lady, I think she was based on uh, Beauty and the Beast. But if, if you recognize her, if you recognize this doll, tell me down below because... I'd like to have her complete. Please and thank you. So I'm going to get these set up so we can get a good face up of the ones I have. And then we'll be done. Okay, starting over here with the brat stalls. They're actually in pretty good condition. They do need washed up in their um, hair kind of combed and styled. There's her shoes. But otherwise, they're in pretty good condition. I have no idea if any of these outfit pieces belong to the specific doll. I just... I don't know. I don't know enough about brats. Here's my beautiful queens. I absolutely love them. They're... These are my preciouses. Also, poor baby. I've washed her and that's just what happened after the flood. Um, here's this handsome man. Hello. This poor, beautiful doll. She also suffers from yellowing. It's just not nearly as noticeable. Unless you have a camera with flash pointed at it. Mitch! <laughs> but look at that cool face. That's, that's really cool. But 
Oh, the discoloration. Um, this handsome dude. ignore that um, this beauty I love her green eyes too she's gonna be one of the first ones I find an outfit for along with this one whose hair I need to tame but um look at the poor yellowing Ugh. she's an old she's an old girl but still so pretty and we got this one. Kind of pretty basic one. Here you can see the pink. She she has suffered from younger me's torment. She won't suffer anymore. I will take care of you, I promise. Then we got this. this. Oh, she's so sweet looking. I love her. And this one, I am, I am pretty sure she is a 90s Barbie. That face just looks like a 90s Barbie to me. And we have this one, she, she definitely needs washed. Some of these, I've gotten around to washing these two in the guys. But these ones haven't been washed up as well. So, uh, she needs washed up, poor girl. Here's him. He looks so goofy. <laughs> and here's her. Anyone. Anyone. Do you recognize her? Please. And thank you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you see any dolls you recognize, just tell me down below. I'm curious. Uh, please don't be mean about the state of these dolls. Uh, I, I've had them since I was a literal freaking child. Pre-teen. Like, except for these two, obviously. These two are the exception. So, uh, she and I are the same but different people. So, please be kind. She didn't mean to destroy any beloved or potentially expensive uh, Barbies. Well, this one isn't really my fault. That's just part of the age, too, but I don't know what happened to the clothes. I don't know, Mitch. They either got donated or I didn't receive them from my aunt, so I don't know. I don't know. That was so long ago. Anyway, bye, guys.